Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we are having a look at menu book number 34 in which we are heading off to try and acquire three Mercedes AMG cars. I imagine these are going to be pretty nice. The AMGs are lovely cars to look at and lovely cars to drive. So I'd be quite glad to have three of those in the garage. So we're going to be heading off to Europe. No great surprise. Wouldn't be surprised if it's Germany. So actually it's spread. We've got Barcelona, uh, the Catalonia, Barcelona in Spain. We're going to France and we, of course, are going to Germany and the Nürburgring. So first of all, we are looking at um, German vehicles. OK, that's going to tie us down to maybe the Porsche. Would that be a good choice? The 911 GT3, that fits the bill, 700 performance points or less. Ideally, we would like to go with um, some racing medium tyres, which we've got. So let's just put those on. And we're still within the tolerances. Let's just head off to Schwarzwald League. And we're going to Catalonia for the first of our races. So we're looking at third place or higher as usual. Nothing different there. And as usual, we're starting way back in 16th place. Quite a long run down to this first right to left, which if you get this right, can be a nice corner. So we're going to break early. We're going to get it turned in over the curb there, just on the inside of that car, over the curb. That's one AMG done. These are all going to be German cars with a Porsche on the outside of that Porsche. That's done. We've got radar on so we can just make sure that we are actually overtaking these cars and clearing them. I don't want to do a... Let's see if we can get around. Oh, just managed to get that turned in. I thought I was going to do a Mitchell Morgan move there. Um, yeah, going between cars, I often have my signature move. Thankfully, I didn't pull that off that time. That was clean. Oh, I've got a beautiful BMW 3 Series from the 1990s there. I do that one on the inside. Down into second gear to get this turned in over the curve with another Porsche. So we're actually making fairly good headway through the field here. Uh, five laps to run on this race. Ooh, you're going to come over and close the door. I'm going to go right. Uh, yeah, five laps to run in this particular race. We're up to eighth already, uh, 18 seconds behind the leader. So we are going to need to push, and this is a track. <laughs> I nearly did it then. This is a track where I often manage to swap ends, as I very nearly did just then. Uh, obviously, thinking about it, I managed to just overstep the mark a little bit. So it would be nice to get out in front and build a little bit of a gap. Oh, just a bit of a tap on the back bumper there. That Porsche was a bit slower into that corner than I'd expected. A big slide on the way out. We're going to run the sausage curb and just see if we get on the power earlier to get a slingshot down that side. Oh, 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 oh so close to the gravel. So close to the gravel there. Oh, thankfully, we managed to keep it out. We need to just calm down, calm down a little bit so much faster down this straight watch for the breaking point turn in just let's just tuck him no we're going to go for this one i was just thinking i was going to follow that amg through but uh as usual these um ai cars are breaking the corner which is enabling us to press on and get through them so up into fifth Let's just take this one on the outside. Oh, he's... I lost a bit of traction mid-corner. He got a better line and we just collected with each other mid-corner. That wasn't very, very clever. Let's just get this turned in. Third gear through here. We're going on the right-hand side. No, left-hand side of this one. I'm choosing all of the wrong sides initially and then having to just, just change my mind just as we're approaching these cars. So let's get this turned in third gear over here. Just taking a bit of the curb, drifting out, not too far. You go out too far, hit that gravel trap, which is really gonna bog down and cause us some problems. 
third place, sorry, second place car in front of us. Let's just, whoa, round we go. Oh, wow, we go. I knew it was going to happen. Let's just take this um, gravel bit, uh, go across the grass. Oh, that's terrible. Thankfully, the game didn't reset us. We were able just to, to get across there. Um, I, I knew I was going to swap ends around here with this car. Always do. Let's just calm down. So, first gear is going to turn in second, second through there, get it up into third gear as soon as we can. We go just climbing up through the gears, don't go out too wide into fourth. Let's do the right hand side of that red one. That's a nice, easy is that red or is that orange? A nice, easy overtake there. Breaking at the beginning of the curbs there, so we can get a nice turn in. Maybe a bit early, could possibly break a little bit later. But that set us up okay for this BMW. Let's go around the outside of the BMW, just try and carry as much speed as we can through this corner. So we're on lap three of five, and we've managed to get into first place. However, ooh, it, it deep into there. Let's get that tidied up. Um, sorry, totally lost my train of thought yet again, concentrating. And once we get out in the front, we really need to just settle down, think about breaking points, the beginning of the curve, get it down to third gear, turn in, over to the other curb, oh, took a lot of curb there, just climbing up the acceleration, down in second, should be able to do that one in third, I think I'm being a bit over cautious and not a great exit, totally unsettled the car mid corner, again we're going to break, just before the 100 meter board, down to second gear, get it turned in, going a little bit wide across the sausage. Just get this up into third gear as soon as we can. Just leave it in second through here for the moment. Let it run up to third, down into second for this corner, get it turned in over the curb. Again, taking too much curb. I'm getting the car unsettled by these sausage curbs too much. Uh, which is compromising the exits of the corners. It's not tidy enough for my liking at the moment. If we come across the start finish line to start lap number four, we are. I haven't actually looked to see where we are. Where are we? Eight, eight seconds, eight and a half seconds ahead, nine seconds now ahead of the second place. So we've got a bit of a cushion. Break it nice and early, and it's second gear just to lose some speed over that curb, over the next one. Up into third as quick as we can, looking for the apex of this corner, that's better. Don't get it on the grass. Just keep the acceleration around that corner, up into fourth as we exit the corner. Just down into third, into second for this one, just to lose the speed. Don't want to take any chances at this precise moment in time. Feel as if we could be pushing on a bit faster through there, maybe third gear. So down into second, ride this curve, let it drift out to the outside. Quick run to the next corner. Watching for the breaking point, beginning of the curve, get it turned in. A little bit deep, a little bit deep. Upsetting the line for the second part of the corner. Down into second, over the apex, up into third, looking for second gear for this corner. Coming up, and I've got this. So get it buried down into second, turning over the apex. Oh, maybe second is a little bit too low. Maybe it may be third, and we might not be losing the back end. Or just need to be a little bit more cautious on getting the power down with this particular car. It's not raining or anything, so we should be okay. Over there. It run down second gear through here. That's a bit better, not too much acceleration on the exit. Jumping on the accelerator pedal a little bit, Stephen. That is um, this is not overly good. We should be introducing the power a little bit more evenly. I am on traction control one, so I'm getting away with that. Um, I do want to get to the point where my traction control is full off. I am not going to get away. 
not going to get away with stamping on the accelerator pedal with the traction control full off so this is something I'm going to need to work on so just uh, turning in this corner goes on forever and ever and ever third gear is quite nice through there I tend to find that works quite well in this car down into third and it's third through here down into second I wanted to do that in third but really second was the gear this one should be third over the top that's nice then drift over stay off the sausage down to second for this one again probably could have done third if I was braver but at this stage 19 seconds ahead is, is quite a bit there's uh, no need to um, get silly down into second for this one get it turned in over the apex let it run up into third when we can into second it's running around lots of long right hand corners oh we've gone round and way off the track Oh, we hit that grass and it just slid wow okay so that is going to see our sizable lead significantly disappear I think um, but we are on the final lap that was a real shame managed to drop it right at the end of the race I uh, thought it was a done deal alas totally ran out of talent right at the end of the race let's get a bit late in the evening I'll be honest I've already done one menu book prior to this one and I'm just feeling it a little bit uh, 13 seconds ahead should have been a lot more definitely should have had that spin that's going to cost us on the old credits you know, 88,000 credits it would be nice to have been a bit higher for a clean race alas wasn't to be so that's the first of our AMGs not quite sure about the colour of that one. I also feel that that AMG would benefit from a spoiler on the back, but it's still a nice car. Still a very nice car to have in the garage. So we'll head off now to the second of the races, having acquired that car. So we'll head over to France. So I'm going to leave the Nürburgring until the end. This is going to be the Circuit de Saint-Croix. I don't know how you pronounce that. Somebody will probably correct me. Uh, we do get a choice of a different car. Um, we could go with the Mercedes that we've just won. If we do that, obviously, we're going to need to change the tyres. So I'm going to grab the racing mediums and we'll drop those on. I don't want to do anything else with within the performance category. Uh, I think that we will probably just leave that as it is. Uh, so four laps of Circuit Saint Croix. It's a circuit that I don't know overly well, uh, although we I think we did just recently have a race here but it, it is a track that i'm still trying to get my head around um i tend to do okay here but not brilliantly it is another one where i often tend to spin and already i'm finding that this mercedes is tail happy boy i think it could do with a spoiler on it uh, i'm going to need to keep that one in mind and keep this uh, back end in check around some of these corners let's um take the mclaren oh Air brake on the McLaren, that's nice. Okay, job done on that one. So just pushing on through here. This is a very, very fast, long right hand of the Titans. And again, the back end of this AMG all over the place through there. Get it slowed down as we get uh, to go over the bridge. Cleared the car behind, cleared that one. Yeah, the tail of this AMG is really, really moving around under braking on some of these corners. As the light begins to fade. Oh, I've gone too deep, too deep. Now, normally I brake on the first of those two triangles. I left that way too late. 
got away with it though. We're going to go to the left of this uh, uh, this Audi. Just trying to take as tight a line as I can. I don't want to run into those blue and white uh, bollards there. I often manage to hit them. Got the three series. That should be a nice easy overtake down this straight. Got that done before this fast right hander. Just be brave through there. Up in the fifth gear. Now this one's tight coming up. So we're just going to need to pick our braking point, get it turned in. Ah, it's gone too deep. Got away with that, but could be carrying a lot more speed through there. Oh, you've got that apex, just double apex this corner. Fifth gear down into this little dip here. Do these two on the outside. Can we hold that line? Is the door going to close? No, we managed to get through. And we're going to need to bury the brake pedal now. Get it turned in. Keep that back end in check. Up through the gears. Take the Porsche on the right hand side. It's an easy overtake. The white car should hit the corner before we do. So we'll just keep this line. Watching for our braking zone. Oh, got a little deep again. Again, not, not quite got the measure of this car and the braking points at the moment, but the um, white Porsche fell quite nicely for us. We got our three series BMW or M3, which we should be able to do on the right hand side. Yeah, that opens up nicely for us. We then got this long, fast right hander, just fifth gear. Keep the accelerator buried just as it tightens. Easing off a little bit to come down the hill, get this right hand the back end stepping out again. Massive slide, just get it slowed down so we don't run into the back of that Porsche over the bridge. Now, this time we need to watch for our braking point. Just looking for the, the first of those triangles, just breaking a little bit before it. That was probably a little bit early, but I was minded of the BMW. Don't want to run into the back of him. Managed to overtake him nicely on the exit of the corner. Losing the speed enabled me just to get the get up the inside of him on the exit, assuming he was going to go out wide, but we go wide. Oh, nearly collected the barrier. I told you that barrier was one that gets me. That barrier sucks me in every time if I'm not careful. Okay, so we've got fastest lap at the moment. Quick through here. Didn't really need to drop down for fourth gear. Probably should have left it in fifth. Up into sixth, get it down into fourth gear for this corner. Do we need to grab third? Yep. Just grab third, just keep it out of the gravel. Oh, no, 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 we're going to go round. Ah, oh, maybe I should have stuck with fourth and just used the brakes. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Still managed to keep third place. The car behind me is now closed right up, right on my bumper, just a second behind. We've let the second place car now get five seconds ahead of us. We're only on lap two or four. Woohoo! Now panic sets in. Uh, oh no, what am I doing? Oh, Mitchell, Mitchell, what are you doing? Oh, look at that train of cars coming down. Let's just reverse into them all. Oh my god. Oh, that's. No. No, 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 no. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Yeah, okay, that's that really is a classic example of what not to do. Do that racing online and you'll be in all sorts of trouble. When you lose it like that, you've really got to think about how you're going to rejoin the track. Let's just get through here. You've really got to think about how you're going to join the track. Um, if you don't join cleanly, it's almost as bad. In fact, it's worse than having the off itself. Um, racecraft and discipline is key. Careful not to run into the back of that one. And that that join, I mean, come on. I knew those cars were coming down. I knew they were there and I just blatantly reversed across the track. Uh, horrendous. I mean, Real life, you're going to kill somebody. Oh, going to go round again. Oh, no. And we're going to pull across the other cars. Oh. 
panic is really settling in now. Um, not really feeling this AMG, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, the three cars, the well, second, third place is, is just there, but the other two are quite a fair way further on. I'm on the wrong side of the track now for this corner. That's going to give me problems getting it turned in. Just about this. This is proving to be an example of everything that you can do wrong. Here we go. Hit the barrier right now. Everything you could possibly do wrong is going wrong. It's just like, yeah, this is just not clean, not tidy. I almost, I'm not going to. I almost feel I just want to push the restart button on this race and start this one again. Um, Sometimes, especially when I'm getting tired, and it is quite late, um, I really should do one menu book and put the game away. Uh, three races is probably enough when you've had a long day and you're tired. Uh, I've gone for a second and potentially shouldn't have done. Oh, not very happy with that one, if I'm perfectly honest. Not very happy at all. Hmm. Okay. Let's move on very quickly. I go. Just. What should we go with? Yeah, I think we're going to drop back to the Porsche. I really wasn't feeling it with that AMG. Um. There is one of the AMGs I really like. That isn't the AMG that I really like. Um, neither is the one that we're going to be winning here. That that was just... It didn't feel really hooked up very well. It really didn't. So, here we go with the Porsche. see how we can do with this one. So just come down this corner and bury the brake pedal down into second over the curb. 911 GT in front of us. We're gonna go left or right on this one. Where are you going? You're gonna go deep into the corner here. We're going the inside. Just try and get this move done. He's gonna close the door. Let's just back off a little bit. That door's always gonna close on us. Can we get this just before the bridge? We've done one. Can we get the second one on the inside? That one's gone a little bit wide. Took a title line, just managed to, to get that move done. That was good. That gets us up into 13th. Over the bridge. I need to bury the brake back. Oh, get it slowed down for this corner. Okay, up the inside. That's better. This car is so much nicer to drive it's it's so more planted such so 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 much better just using a little bit of slipstream for the AMG there should be able to go flat through here just got to be minded of where this red car is going I think it might go to the side oh he's gone through there that's fine didn't catch him on that fast right hand up Although we're going to catch this gaggle in this corner. Oh, got it turned in. Keep it off the glass. Okay. Got away with that. Got away with that. That was quick through there. That set us up quite nicely for these two in front. Let's go on the inside of that 911. And we'll go on the outside, inside, inside of this one. And pick up these two on this long run down. To this corner that was nice to get that done before we get to the corner on the brakes he's coming back at us just need to be careful just cut him off defended that line that was good so up to sixth position uh, this 911 is so much more planted so much easier to drive so much more confidence in the car Have a run down to this fast right 
to the slow left, just looking for the braking point. They're in the brake pedal, getting turned in, second gear over the kerb. Just watching for the BMW. Is he going to go left or right? He'll go left. Just sets us up nicely for this corner. Carry the speed through. Lots and lots of confidence. Just got a bit wide and all. Just carried a bit too much speed through there. Just getting a bit too overconfident with this 911. So at the moment, go that starting to get a little bit tired now so uh, um, a few concentration lapses let's just follow these two through don't be too eager inside opens up and is going to cover off the middle of the track it's going to push us around the outside can we get that turned in looks like the radar that's done looks back at the track didn't hit the barrier on the way through, so that puts us up into third place. Five seconds off the current front. We're only on the second lap, so we've got two and a bit to go. Just pushing this as fast as we can right now. Give it a break. I think 150 meter board. That was good. I have to remember that for the next time. That was okay. I think it was 150 meter border break. Inside, outside, inside, inside. Yep. I'm quite sure which way to go there. Same with this one. Do we go inside? No, that's going to close off. Now we can do the inside. Don't spin it. Getting very loose under braking. That's first place. Now we've just got to hold everything together. 150 meter board. Bury the brake pedal down into second gear. That lets that pull through a bit careful through there should have carried a lot more speed should never have chosen a second gear there that was overly cautious but uh, managed to get the pace back 150 100 buried the brake pedal 100 is a little bit late 100 is a little bit late 50 is a little bit early 100 is a little bit late on that one probably be midway through mid midway between those two fourth gear through here it's a nice curb. Slow that down. Third, second. Over the top, up into third as quick as we can. Just get this one slowed down. So, get it up into fourth. Just losing where I was for a second. This is this long curve. Opens up. Switch direction. Oh, just catching the back end. And across the bridge. A bit, a bit raggedy. I'm going to concentrate, I think, for the moment. So breaking on the first of those triangles gives us a nice turn in. Uh, we got a five and a half second lead to the car behind. We've got two wide through here. Let's stay out of those barriers. Oh, right in the barrier. Oh dear, just about got away with that one. I think that's redecorated the left hand side of the car somewhat. But uh, just got away with that. Michael Schumacher at, Monza, at um, Monaco used to rub all of the white lettering off his tyres when he was racing the Formula One, I'm afraid I've just wiped ah, too deep on ah, the gravel. I think I've just wiped all of the paint off of the side of my car. Not that, uh, on that barrier. So not quite as uh, precise as Michael Schumacher, but then I don't profess to have his skills by any stretch of the imagination. And they've gone a bit wide there, hit the bump, totally unsettled the car, another visit to the barrier and we've now redecorated the right hand side of the car this Porsche is going to be looking very very second hand at the end of this race uh, not my finest outing this menu book I have to say um, certainly need to practice this track a lot more certainly needs a lot more work 
doing on it. We are out in first place at the moment. This is the final lap, just get this slowed down, turned in, over the curb. This is the long right hand bend. Just be careful not to let it drift out too much. Tightens. We've got the left hander, don't lose it under braking. This is where we've had trouble. Back end going really light again. Right hand over the top, over the bridge. That's much better this time. Eight and a half seconds ahead of the second place person. Best sector, best lap at the moment. Break in. Breaking really early then, much earlier than I needed to. The second gear through that corner. Just at this point, wanted to keep it relatively clean and tidy. I don't want to try and push too hard. Just a slight kiss of the barrier there is unset with the car, but that was okay. Didn't go too wide through there. Half a lap to go. This is this fast right hand up, fifth gear, full commitment, no lifting. Oh, I lifted, needed to, otherwise I was going to be in the barrier there. Oh. Slowed down for this slower corner, really took a lot of an inside line, nice drift out to the corner. I actually took that one quite well, pleased with that one. Third gear through here, building the speed, little jink over to the right. Full gear, watching that bounce, that bounce really unsettles this Porsche. Almost a visit to the barrier, as the car was totally unsettled from that dip in the road, but managed to hold it. This one's a tight corner, come down to second gear, probably too low, should have done that one in third. Definitely didn't need to do that quite as tight, but just wanted to keep it safe so that we can get a nice first place as we come across the line. So a rather second-hand looking Porsche 911. But that is first place, 80,000 credits, and job done. And we get the black AMG, the second of the two cars that we needed to win. head off to the Nürburgring for the last of these races. Whew. At this point, knowing how complicated the Nürburgring is, I could really call it a day, but we need to get this menu book done. Um, which car should we go with? I think I'm going to switch into the Scirocco. Um, in third place or higher. Hopefully the Scirocco will give us the performance that we need. We are up against some pretty good cars. The weather is looking decidedly iffy. It looks quite grey up there. And we are just going to go for this. We're going to go full beans. See how far up the order we can get. Again, we're looking for third place or higher. Uh, to be quite honest, I think I'll be quite happy to get third. Uh, this run, oh, that's a little bit, this is greasy, quite slippery. We've got racing soft tyres on. Hopefully the softs get us to the end. It's only a single lap. Just trying to pick our way through these cars. Don't really want to have any bad accidents and throw it off at the moment. Quite uh, tight, twisty, turny section there. But up into 14th, 30 seconds away from the first place. That is a big old mountain to climb. No pit stops or anything. That's a big old mountain to climb. We're getting caught up behind this AMG. We cannot afford to get caught up behind anybody in this race. Sixth gear. This is quick through here. 
will just lift slightly, a little bit of brake just to balance the car as you go over the top, otherwise it's a case of visiting that barrier on the right hand side. Get it right the way down into third gear for this corner. Actually, I was too bothered about the red car, we've got to change down gear, normally for third, but so I've got to be there in fourth. Uh, concentrating on the red AMG, we've got this 911 GT1 to get by now. Going left or right, we go right, no, oh, got into the back of him. This is tight and twisty through here. Oh, a slight bump just to get through. I think that we are going to need to to employ some British touring car tactics and a few little bumps and nudges to open doors, possibly on this one to get through this traffic. So we've got the Porsche and the Audi. Oh, not quite on the grass. I think he let me through there. That was polite and kind. Thank you very much. It's slowed down. Third gear for this one. That's another barrier that I often visit. Just trying to keep this clean and tidy if we can. One or two little minor bumps with cars on the way through. Whether that is going to have impacted a clean race or not, I'm not sure. Let's just pick our point for this BMW. It's tight and twisty through here. Overtaking places are short and far between. Oh, he broke earlier than I expected. So just run into the back of him. Oh, come on. Leaning on him again on the exit of that corner. Just lost a bit of momentum with that little nudge. So breaking down into this, send it down the inside on this one. That's it. Job done. Took us a little bit of time to get past that BMW. We need to get by this bit. AMG faster. Oh, that was, um, that was full commitment there. Get back slow it down before that corner. I'm not calling out gears and uh, braking points, turning points. This whole track is feel. Um, that's a bit deep. I haven't got it committed to memory by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, sometimes I'll have pace notes that I've recorded depending on the car that I'm running and I'll have those playing on my phone while I'm running. I haven't got that today. I'm just running this one. Um, not quite blind. That's not the word I want, but I haven't got any pace notes. So this is very much feel. Love this section through here. Need to get it slowed down for this corner though. That tightens. We can let it run again. You can see the cars in front watching for their brake lights. This one's quite tight, so we'll just lose a bit of bit of speed. Back on the accelerator, up into fourth. Again, this one can be quite tight. That's a barrier that I visit frequently. Didn't on this occasion, that's good. I think we're coming up towards the carousel now. Yep, so we get into the carousel, follow these two around. Oh, the Porsche has come out the carousel, all back in. Just tuck in behind, use the slipstream down here. Looking to go down the left-hand side. Can we get that done before the corner? We've got the inside, but we've backed out just in case. I'm going to try and keep this clean. We've got the inside for this corner, and then we've got a right-hander. We've got the Porsche 911 done, which is good. So now we can get on the back of this BMW. Just seeing how he's taking these corners. Sliding around quite a bit, that BMW. We're just following through here, looking for an opportunity to overtake. Maybe down into this one, under braking. No, that following through. Oh, it goes a little bit wide. I had a better turn of speed, a little nudge, and through there. I did say there may well be a few little bumps and scrapes on this one to get through the traffic. Up into third now. The second place car is a full nearly seven seconds down the road. So we have got to lean on this car. And we've, we've really got to go for this. This is going to, we're almost getting to the point of full commitment. Really quick through here. Just get slowed down for this one. Third gear. 
lifted it in fourth. Felt confident. This is quick two. Full commitment. Let it run through this one. And now, again, just full commitment through there. Sorry, just really, really concentrating. You get slowed down for this corner. Fourth gear, a little bit of a wobble on the exit. Up over the top. Be careful not to run too wide. That's another barrier that I visit. Another carousel, try and keep it in the carousel. Keep the speed up. At the top, that's nice. I think we're closing on these two cars in front. We're approaching the long straight, and I really need to be in the slipstream of this yellow Porsche in front to drag me along. Here we go, onto the straight. We are 1.4 seconds behind. Have we got a slipstream? Come on, just a little bit closer, a little bit closer. No, we've lost the slipstream. Definitely lost a strip team, they're going away from me now. Okay, that's going to cause me a, a bit of difficulty towards the end of the lap. Um, they've got significant speed advantages, I'm going to really commit myself through here. I'm going to stay committed through here. Ugh. Come on, okay, turned in, slow down. Oh, come on, can we get past this? Porsche, got a right hand of here, but well, it's going to be a drag to the line, come on, oh, second, second, well, I'll tell you what, that little Scirocco against some of those GT3s, um, that's not half bad, I uh, got hung up behind a couple of cars, on the way through there uh, where I need to be a bit braver I think that's what cost me the win um, but we have got the three A and G's uh, this may well be a race that I'll need to come back to to get uh, silver and we'll probably come down here with a much quicker car uh, next time but all in all not a bad performance reasonably happy with that and I think that we will call that a day for now and we'll head back to the cafe and we we'll look at the next the next menu book next time so those are the three AMGs that we have won the collection is complete and Luke is going to take us through a little bit of information about these cars oh we've got a four star roulette ticket for completing that menu. Menu book number 34, the AMGs in the bag. Oh wow, look at that one. That's a retro. Mercedes-Benz AMG 300 SEL classic back in the day that is a monster of a car I wonder if we can get that in the game that would be smart I don't think I've ever had that car but oh, that would be a monster okay so that menu book done next we are going to be looking at menu book number 35 the Nissan GTR Please consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and hit the bell for notifications of more videos like this. If you are a returning subscriber, back for more. Thank you so, so, so much for supporting the channel. It is going in the direction I want to, not quite as quickly as we would like, but I appreciate all of your support. In the meantime, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.